Oh, this is a no. Yeah, what you do is you have the little, the little line. Right? Uh -huh. I'm just doing motions of the pattern. Like, you're doing something every couple of seconds, like a train. Or like a train. I don't even know. Yeah. yeah. The stream quality excellent. Well, that's all we can ask for. All right. Well, I think I think we're online. I don't know if somebody else has. Can somebody look up the stream on their phone or something just to check, just to see if we're on online? I'm not really sure. All right, you guys are good to go. All right, so we got uh, cups and Watson Chan. You can play wherever you want, buddy. Anything you want. It's the battle of the century. Fight! Nope. I don't see it. Alright, so uh, Cups and Watson Chan in there. Watson Chan going for that uh, Sailor Venus alternate for uh, Sakura. So it's really trying to keep each other out with those standing roundhouses, but once Cups gets in, he's really going to want to try to set up a counter hit presence, try to take advantage of those good meaty buttons that uh, Cody has. Now, now it's just way behind. Alright, so confirm off that EX Tatsu into Ultra and build a little bit of extra meter on the back end. Over here. Yeah, it looks like we're in now. Alright, so hopefully we're in. I hope so. If not, I'll definitely just talk to you about it. Yeah, we can just talk to each other and act professional. Yeah. Cups gets in and gets thrown out the back. Now, these guys did just play a buttload of casuals. That's going to be safe. Wow. I, I think so. He's got the jump here. I like that. Uh, I, I, there's two things. So I like that Watson Chan stuck to a game plan on that plus two EX Tatsu and just went for that stand short. I also like that Cups challenged him. Wanted to see. His, uh, yeah. I mean, Cups typically his buttons pretty intelligently, but he's still playing. Oh, big miss right there and great punish. Yeah, that's fantastic punish right there. Looks like he might have Watson a little bit mixed up. One more button. One more heavy button. There it is. Medium kick. All right, let's see here what we got. Yeah, keep the crispy stuff alive. That was still a lot of damage even for that scaling on that Dizzy. Oh, the Dizzy was a wow. medium kick. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. And a very intimidating round, I would have to say, by Cups right there, answering back. So he's got a full stick of Super now, which he's probably not going to use in Sakura. I want to see EX Zonks and F-80Ps. Okay, or that. Yeah. That's, a, that's a full bar combo. Oh, here comes Watson, though, confirming off that neutral roundhouse. Let's see if he... Watch out for the Nux. Now he's just throwing Cody around. These two alpha characters just going at it. Oh my god! So many counter hits. Are we gonna get it? Oh, we're gonna get it? Oh, dropped it. Yep, gets caught. Now he's in the corner against Cody. Oh. Oh, he tried to jump. Yeah, it would have chipped him out anyway, so that's actually a smart. Okay. Unless he had that EX meter already, in that case, I would match that. But I think he got the meter from Tick. So he was, so he threw the rocks before that just to get the, the I guess, block string. Okay, yeah. You can do EX uh, rubby and kick too. All right. So Watson Chan representing that crouch fierce punch, a three frame normal. Uh, Sakura's main anti air defense because her DP does not behave traditionally. I like the punish right there. That was good. From meaty, meaty wow, Cody, is that Cody's weird jump arc just throwing Watson off? I don't know. He also has very wide moves out of the air, so even if you back dash, he'll hit you with like jumping medium kick and stuff like that. Oh, no confirmed. I still pushes back so much. I would say that's completely worth the meter against Cody. Yeah, also, you notice that time Cups did not challenge the X Tatsu. Oh, went for his own anti of his own. That back, that back medium punch is super good anti for Cody. A lot of tick throw setups. Maybe Watson shouldn't have done the so early. Not a gimmick. Yeah, right. But okay. the, the, the tool of having the safety I thought to maybe he shouldn't have used it so early. Yeah, get the extra damage in there with that light DP. It always this always looks. You talk about moves that look like they're not gonna hit. That move always like to me thinks like you shouldn't get that much out of it. And also, if you do just the hard uh, shuriken, you can get the ultra after it, right? If it's in the corner, but it totally doesn't look like it should work. And on top of that, it, it only works on the uh, with the oh Watson up in the air. Oh, nice, nice dash. 
gonna eat the shift damage though. Man, that was a great sequence. Uh, I think Watson just got a little bit startled by. Uh, I don't know. Cubs just throwing and doing a lot. Doing a good job at uh, making the tick throw setup very dangerous. Because the thing against Cody is, you, the, the minute you start thinking he's gonna come in to throw, you're gonna eat the solar plex and take a huge amount of chip damage uh, from those counter hit setups. Nice cross up opportunity with the uh, jump short. Dude, wasn't the most. Uh, yeah, wasn't it very ambiguous. It didn't look like a big deal, but I didn't even see it. Yeah. So. Okay, so there you go. Frame trap. You uh, convince your opponent to hold back, and then he gets a throw. Uh oh. Hold in. Cody jump in. Neutral. Nice tag. Watson looking to tag him with that neutral roundhouse. Oh, right, now he's just harassing him. That's the thing is, yeah, one of those combos, if he hits that and it goes into uppercut, it'll push Cody so far back, which is huge stuff. Oh no, he wanted to crouch fierce to link that, even though it would have worked off the jab, just a tighter window. He may be using that just to get out of the corner now. Yeah, he did. He has a pretty big life lead, and Watson's defense, like, I could definitely see him pulling this one out. But see, here's the thing that killed him last time, is he got too comfortable trying to defend, and got thrown. Okay, so we see, there's the counter hit set up in place. Okay, that time got it. In there. Cause I don't think that one is minus five, because Cody's aren't like good enough reversal. Mm -hmm. They only, I think they only nerfed the the focus attack dash cancel forward. Ooh. And you saw right there the reason why Sakura does not have a good DP reversal well, too far away. I think where he was just late. Or he went for jump fierce right there. He didn't do the the uh, head bobs. I think it was a Toshi because it only went like this high. Yeah. I think. Oh, man, maybe it did. Those of you can't see my fingers. Yeah. Real short. I have no mouth and I was. Oh, got him with that. That's that golden cross-up area where Sa Sakura is unable to really uh, anti-air you. Walk-up counter hit jab and throw. Yeah. Good mix of my cups right now. Yeah, might as well at that point. All right, so good stuff by uh, Cups right there. Good stuff to both those guys. A lot of, a lot of good stuff on both those players in. So uh, I don't know for sure how much of the tournament has been live streamed thus far, but uh, if you're just now joining us, welcome to Top of the Shop this week. Um, check out our challenge bracket. Uh, you can go on. Uh, oh, you can go on uh, challenge and search top in the shop. God damn it! Why would it do? Why is that an option just to click away from it? Like, oh, you know what? I want to abandon what I just did. All right, so on stream, let's get Momstar sixty nine and Rihanna Defense Squad no alias. Okay. All right. What happened to Rihanna? Nothing, because the Rihanna Defense Squad is here. <laughs> I have a name. I have a name switched, but uh, I'm assuming there's something going on. Oh, nice. We get we got these now. <laughs> Caster two. That's me. Uh, was it? Brad Wine Mabine. <laughs> Alright, so on stream we're gonna get uh, Mom Slayer 69 and Jeremy on, aka today he's going as Rihanna Defense Squad. No so this is probably gonna be Fei Long versus Kuma. Although maybe Dalsim, I did see them playing earlier. It looked like Aaron was having some success using Dalsim against Fei Long. The sad thing is, it really does. <laughs> the way that zoomed in there looked like an effect, like a like a wash, yeah, or whatever the opposite of a wash is. Oh, now a negative edge back here. Yep. Why? Why is it doing that? Because like, all right, so XSplit cat takes all cameras in as like their native resolution. So these cameras, for some reason, are like it's a 16 by 9 resolution, but it's a 4 by 3. It's a square. Okay. Basically, what you gotta know is a fucking square. So if I turn it into a rectangle to make us full screen, our faces will look stretched. So to remedy this, I do the sidebars, and I just thought I'd put a little flare on it and make the colors inverted in the back, just oh, kind of throw a... Yeah, I did it on purpose, yeah. That was an issue. Oh, <laughs> you know what? If you're, uh, if you're a fan of Top of the Shop and you've been following tournaments, it should, that shouldn't surprise you. That's a valid concern that Brad's got. But it kind of, kind of gives like this kind of, you know, I don't know. That's all right. Alright, so we have uh, Mom Slayer 69 gonna be, of course, playing Akuma, and then uh, No Alias gonna be going with uh, Fei Long. That is nice, Go Rihanna. How do you spell it? R I H. Retro. Uh, uh, that's a tough one. It's Car uh, Caribbean, so I think. I think that's where she's from. Puerto Rico. 
That, that's just that, that's how the name was signed up. That's what I was going for. Take my money. I've been reading for years. Like some Is he under his umbrella right now? <laughs> no, I mean it's it's not mad. I would make some other joke, but I don't know a single other song. Seriously? Ponday replay. What? Ponday replay. Rude boy. Oh yeah. Dude, Rihanna kind of rules. Like, hey, you know she's the most successful female artist of all time. I only I only know that because Thor told me. That's a Thor fact. He just knows a bunch of crap. That's a that's a that's a Thor fact for you guys. Hey, did the world win today? They did. What was the score? I thought. The real oh, really? question is why is everybody surprised that it's here because it's been here for months. Real crap. Say what? All right. Mom Slayer 69 Akuma versus Rihanna Defense Squad No Alias. Man, I'll tell you what. Every time this happens every week. During casuals, this whole back area is fucking empty. As soon as the tournament starts up, though, everybody wants to yell right next to Mike. They want to like chill back here. And they hang, yeah, and hang out. But right now, we got lots of stuff going on right now. Good backdash off that setup. Yes. Don't get too comfortable there because that might get armor broken with the palm later on. See, like. Decisions like that, I, I feel like Monster 69 goes, okay, well, you backdash towards the corner, that's what I want anyways. So I don't know if we're going to see that. Two Shoto shorts in a row looking for EX Tatsu in the corner doesn't get it. And no, and the defense squad going to need to level up that very thing, the defense right there. Yeah, no, going to need to look at Yeah, he's going to need to wake up. Notice they're minus four and, like, play that way because he hits a button afterwards sometimes. Mm -hmm. Anything Akuma touches that's quick is going to be an instant counter hit for Akuma. Now, what I want to find out is if Monster 69 knows that they're minus four and knows he, how to punish them. Like, because we don't have a lot of, we don't have a lot of active Fei Long, you know, in, in casuals. Great DP right there. Flame kick to get up. He's really good. He's really solid at actually using the... Wow. Yeah, but it, it is a five frame reversal with uh, not very much invincibility. So as far as a get out of jail button, a nice challenge right there. He gets the whole combo. Good stuff. Forward roundhouse right here. All right, so let's see if I mean it might be a little bit too late, but uh, how Rihanna Defense Squad is going to pick up uh, that uh, Akuma woke up with the crouch jab right there, which I'm sure was just throw tech. But uh, anyway, game one goes to Mom Star 69. Hit him out of the air, like he's still recovering. I mean the the. What's the what's the chicken wing called? You know. Let's look it up. Or you guys can tweet us at home. <laughs> <laughs> or just say it in the chat. I know he's got one called Shan Kaku. I don't think that's his uppercut. It was awesome. Rekka can't. Okay, this is why you can't trust a Ben Hubs because Flame Kick. No, you're wrong. But then they have Rekakin! Go to Shariakin. Like, because remember we were looking up uh, the, the moves for uh, Rolento and it was just like roll or back roll. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll figure it out later. We got to bring you the, the, mean, the mean commentary right now. So it looks like Mom Slayer actually just did sweep after the light Rekka, the first Rekka that time. Because I think no Nice counter hit. And just caught him walking away. Because obviously, like I always say, you can't walk backwards without standing up. Sure. Oh, counter hit. I want to say, I was like, that was a good counter hit off the low, low strong by uh, no alias, but I don't think he didn't believe in his button and unfortunately only got two records out of the three. Whoa. Wreck a buffer. Anytime you see low jab and so. Big damage here, it should kill. Nice. So, fun fact for you guys watching at home, if you're curious about Fei Long, uh, his bread and butter punish is staying fierce. Uh, flame kick and wreck is both do the same amount of damage. Now the point, the difference is wreck has put you in the corner, whereas flame kick just right. keeps you more static. Yeah, two full wreck strings will take any character corner to corner. Oh, big damage right there. In the corner, you use flame kick because it does more stun. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, could have had AEC that too. Good damage with the fears. Usually, we've been seeing. Uh, Usually we've been seeing Momstar69 start all of his combos off with Crouch Strong, so good for him getting that extra damage in there. Also, that frame trap staying fierce, too. I think uh, Jeremy is just kind of throwing that round away, and that's why he didn't cancel the upper play. Momstar69 actually playing, I would have to say, very solid. 250 damage. He's playing a little loose right now with those wake-up DPs. Had to be looking for the teleport. I think Baylon can probably take yes. if you uh, anticipate it. Yeah, as I said, a lot of games versus Fudo, Tokido does not try to teleport out of the corner. 
I uh, also like that no alias has adjusted and is not trying to flame kick. Oh, got him. Okay. Good, good stuff to both those guys. So we are moving along pretty quick here in top of the shop so far. Uh, 